Welcome. Today we're going to talk about 6 plant varieties that can be used as complementary therapy to prevent and manage type 2 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes arises when the body either fails to produce enough insulin or is unable to use it effectively, leading to high blood sugar levels. Unfortunately, diabetes can lead to severe complications that affect vital organs like the eyes, kidneys, and heart. In extreme cases, it can even cause blindness or be fatal. Sedentary lifestyles and obesity are the primary causes of type 2 diabetes, and it is preventable by embracing healthy habits such as a balanced diet and regular physical activity. It is important to note that type 2 diabetes is not curable, and individuals diagnosed with this condition must urgently adopt a healthy lifestyle. Regular monitoring of blood sugar, blood pressure, and cholesterol levels is crucial to prevent complications. Dandelion is a perennial herb that grows in the wild. It is a well-known wild plant with multiple health benefits, including improving insulin production, reducing resistance to insulin and blood sugar levels, and even preventing the onset of diabetes. While medicinal herbs cannot replace the medication prescribed by a doctor, they can complement the treatment plan. Certain herbs have been shown to improve insulin production, reduce resistance to insulin and blood sugar levels, and even prevent the onset of diabetes. One such herb is dandelion, which is a well-known wild plant with multiple health benefits. Dandelion leaves, stems, and flowers contain two antioxidant substances, cycharic acid and chlorogenic acid, that promote insulin secretion and limit the digestion of carbohydrates and starch, thereby reducing blood sugar levels. It is recommended to consume between 5 and 10 grams of dandelion leaves and flowers per day, either raw in salads or cooked. Dandelion can be easily identified by its yellow flowers and toothed leaves that resemble a lion's teeth. However, it's important to note that dandelion should be consumed in moderation. Guava is a fruit that you can enjoy any time of the day, and it's easy to incorporate into your diet. It's a highly nutritious food that's packed with vitamins and minerals, and it's also been shown to have some powerful health benefits. Despite not having tried guava myself, I am aware that it is considered one of the most nutritious fruits in the world. In fact, science has shown that guava may help lower blood sugar levels and reduce insulin resistance, which means it can help control your body's ability to respond to sugar in your bloodstream. To reap these benefits, simply eat a whole guava by itself or in smoothies or juices without any pulp or juice included. You can also take the leaves themselves in infusion if you want to get more out of them. To prepare the infusion, boil 1 tablespoon of chopped leaves or 4 to 5 whole leaves per cup of water for 10 minutes, let it rest for 5 minutes, and then drink it immediately. You can drink up to 2 cups of guava leaf infusion per day. Guava trees are capable of growing up to 5 meters tall, but they can also be cultivated in a pot to limit their height. They thrive in tropical climates and can be protected from intense cold during winter. In temperate climates, the tree requires full sun and takes about 4 years to bear fruit. Fenugreek is a legume commonly used in Middle Eastern cuisine. Its ground seeds are a popular ingredient in curry dishes and are also used to season poultry and fish. If you grow fenugreek at home, you can also consume the leaves, but it's the seeds that have the hypoglycemic effect. Fenugreek seeds are rich in fiber and other substances such as trigonaline and nicotinic acid, which slow down digestion and stimulate the pancreas to produce insulin, thus increasing glucose absorption. To reap the benefits of fenugreek, it is recommended to consume between 1 and 2 teaspoons of the seeds per day. Fenugreek seeds are tough and should be ground before consumption. Alternatively, they can be soaked overnight and consumed with breakfast using a teaspoon. Fenugreek can be easily grown at home like any other legume. It should be planted in spring, and throughout the summer, it produces pods with the seeds. Direct sowing is necessary as it cannot tolerate transplantation and needs full sun exposure. While many people are familiar with aloe vera's skincare properties, not many know that it can help reduce the effects of type 2 diabetes. This is because aloe vera contains a love rose, which can help repair damaged cells in the pancreas responsible for producing insulin. It is crucial to note that only one of the 250 varieties of aloe vera, aloe barbadensis miller, has medicinal properties for diabetes. Only the gel of the aloe vera leaf is consumed, and the yellow latex called aloin, which is toxic, must be removed. 
Aloe vera is a plant that can help you with a lot of things. It's a great source of vitamins A and C, which can help boost immunity, and it's also high in antioxidants that can fight free radicals in your body. But aloe vera is also loaded with toxins, like aloin, which are harmful to the body. So what can you do to remove the toxins from your aloe vera? The first step is soaking the leaves in water for a few hours until the yellow latex drains out. Then remove the gel and blend it with water for consumption. One tablespoon of gel per day should be sufficient, and you should store the rest of the leaf in an airtight container for up to a week. You can also add cinnamon powder or ginger powder to your meals or drinks, half a teaspoon per day, to help lower blood sugar levels and increase insulin production. Guava seeds are difficult to consume due to their hardness, so they should be ground or soaked overnight before consuming 1 to 2 teaspoons per day. They can be grown at home in the spring and summer with direct sowing and require full sun. The guava tree, which can grow up to 5 meters, can be pruned in a pot to limit its height. It requires protection from intense cold in winter and takes 4 years to bear fruit. Guavas should be consumed whole, up to 2 per day, and their leaves can be consumed as an infusion to control blood sugar. Herbs can play a big role in supporting medical treatments, but as with any supplement, it's important to understand that they cannot replace the recommendations of a doctor or specialist. It is also essential to inform your healthcare provider about any herbal supplements you plan to take as they may interact with your medication. This is particularly important if you are pregnant, undergoing anticoagulant therapy, or receiving treatment for high blood pressure. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it informative and enjoyable. If you want to learn more about plants and herbs, be sure to check out the link in the video description for additional resources. These herbs are very interesting to accompany a treatment, but they do not replace the doctor's or specialist's indications. It is even important to tell your doctor the decision to incorporate these herbs into your diet because some of these herbs may interact with the medication you are taking, especially if you are pregnant, anticoagulated, or undergoing treatment for blood pressure. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more great content. Lastly, thank you for your support. It means the world to me. Have a great day and keep exploring the world of gardening.